Okay, this is actually part two. I'm going to show you how to set up an NFS client. And the first thing we need to do is actually edit edit the host file. So what I recommend to do is open up Dolphin in super user mode. As you can see here, super user mode. Then you go to root. Go to your Etsy file folder. And scroll down to you see your host. And there it is. If you double click on it, it'll automatically open up whatever editor you have selected to open it with. As you can see, it's open up with Kate. And what you want to do is go to the bottom of the file. And here's where you would enter in host IP address and the host name for the NFS server. So enter in the IP address of your host server you tab over and you need to put the name of your uh, host server then type in your host name and then save the file it out. Now what you want to do is go into YAST, scroll down until you get to NFS Client, open it up, settings, open a port in your firewall, and now you want to add your shares. Okay, we can try using choose, but if you have a firewall up, you'll get this error message. Which doesn't mean it's not going to work, it just means that it can't scan because of a firewall. So what we'll do is click into the server's host name, and we'll type that in. select works. And sure enough, it does. So we just select uh, STE. And for the mount point, we'll go back to our super user mode. And we'll navigate to here. See, I got windows created. What you want to do first, right click, go to properties, go to permissions, make sure Everything here is done. Okay. Now we'll go inside and we'll create a new folder. And we'll call it that. And then we'll go and create the folder for the other one. Which is that. Then we'll check the permissions. So you see it's root because I'm in root user mode. So change that to the actual and change that and you can actually put it for any group that you created so it doesn't actually have to be users and whatever user you have on your computer, you can assign that as well. And we'll click OK. Now that that's done, we'll go back to Yast. And we'll put the mount point. And we'll leave option that says defaults. Click OK. And now we won't go back and add the other one. See if I can stop loading. One very important note to make is if your client cannot access the 
server when it starts up you're in for a very long wait several minutes up, sometimes even up to 10 minutes before it um, boot into the uh, OS so just remember that if uh, the server ain't up first you're going to be in for a long long wait Settings. We'll check everything's still there. Click OK. Yeah, it starts everything. And ta da! There it is. Now we'll exit super user mode because we want to test, see if we have read only and read write options for those folders. So we'll go back into the regular user mode, click Windows, CP, SDB should be read only, so, yep, grayed out, so I can't write to that folder, back over here, CE, and yes, I can, just make sure I created a folder, yep, so that is how you do an NFS client, this is a Turtle Man Productions, I thank you for watching this video, and hope you have a great day.